as we just were coming at you hey thank you for all the prayers and stuff um that you guys sent me you know the past week week and a half we had a death in the family and we had to do some traveling to take care of things for the family um thanks for all the prayers we wouldn't be in our grieving process as far along as we are without you guys i can't tell you enough how much i really appreciate it and my wife does also um with that being said um johnny scoville Tommy's brother, Tommy does the, the Lifeboat channel, which I co-hosted with him for a couple years. It's an addiction recovery channel. Please go check it out. Um, but Johnny does the channel Chase the Heat. That's how me and Tommy met. Um, he actually collapsed today at Tommy's house and um, while visiting. And I guess they had to do some CPR on him. Um, he's in the hospital now. Um, I know he's awake. Last I heard, talking and everything. And they're just trying to figure out why, what happened, right? Um, I have no more details than that, but what I can say is, please do what you guys did for me this past week. Please send them all the love, the prayers that you, you can. That's all we can do in these moments, and, and you know, um, I'll try to give you guys updates as long, you know, as much as I can, but the best thing is just to go over to the lifeboat, because Tommy's going to be posting updates, I'm sure. You might even see Johnny on the video, so I don't know. I haven't talked to him, but, you know... Send them all the love and prayers that you can. Um, guys, just know that we're praying for you. Johnny, Tommy, Mama Scoville, your whole family. Uh, it sucks when things like that are going on, but, you know, we're going to pray for you. And if I can do anything, Tommy, you know, hit me up, okay? Um, but anyway, um, this, this video is about the Falcon 9 launch. It had 22 Starlink uh, satellites on it, okay? Um, it launched last night um, or early morning. I watch these launches quite often. Right, I think that that was the 70th launch this year. Okay, it went off without a hitch, up and down. Right, the the rocket itself landed back safely. The payload went on off into space with the satellites. Now, what happened after that, I don't know. I haven't I haven't seen anything. I think everything was fine as far as I know. I don't know if they had any issues. But why I'm saying this is, at the same time, we got hit with a geomagnetic storm, an unexpected one. Nobody knew it was coming. Or nobody thought it was going to hit, right? They thought it was going a different direction from a CME, a solar storm launched from the sun. Now, with that being said, <laughs> why is this even significant to even be talking about? It's a low-level storm. They had launched in these conditions a bunch of times, right? Um, with Again, they launched in it a bunch of times. So about a year ago, same thing happened. Same, same kind of thing. Unexpected solar storm at the time of a launch, trying to get these satellites up there, and they lost a bunch of satellites. Okay? And I mean a bunch in that one, that one, uh, that one launch. So, with that being said, what caused it? Right? Why am I even talking about this? Well, I sent those links off so people could come watch over at a channel called Space Flight Now. Please go give them some love over there also. I'll leave a link in the description box. They broadcast all the launches. So, a live broadcast. So, go check them out. They do a really good job. You don't have to say Wages World sent you unless you want to. Um, but, please go check out Space Flight now. And, again, I'll leave a, a description. I mean, a link in the description for you guys. Um, <laughs> with that being said, you know, same type of thing happened. Right? So, why is this happening? Why are the satellites having issues? Well, it was some, some scientists got together, did some research, and wrote an article on it. Right. And the article they wrote on it was talking about why it happened. And but the deal is, guys, we would launched in these conditions multiple times before and nothing happened. Right. So why is it happening now? Um, and then a week later, it happened again to a different company and they lost some satellites. Same type of thing. G1 storm. So. Why? Why at a low level storm are we seeing this stuff? And um, that's the question. So they did the research and it kind of come down to drag, right? It's like if you're walking in two inches of water and then you're slowly going up to two feet of water. You know how that feels, right? As you're dragging your feet across the bottom of the pool, you got to adjust. You got to move this, move that to stay going in the same direction. Same thing happens to a satellite when the solar storm hits. The density which would be the depth of the pool, right? Um, the dent, more water. So the density means more particles. 
and it slows down the satellites. So they got to, it causes drag. So they got to steer them back in and do all kinds of stuff. Um, but the big thing is why now is a G1 storm doing this? Well, most people believe, and, I, and this is what I think, our magnetic field is weakening. We know this. This is a fact, right? The data shows it. It's happening. This is what's going on. I'm not going to go into a big subject on that right now, but that's what's happening. <laughs> so is that now at a level that a G1 storm can affect these launches in this way? If that's the case, then, you know, we really better start paying attention to what's going on and really start considering these things more often, right? Um, so that, that's kind of what I'm saying. But please watch the rest of this video. Um, you'll be able to see what actually, you know, the launch and stuff. But go watch Space Flight now. Again, you don't have to say Wages World Century or anything like that unless you want to. Um, I'm not even sure how big the channel is. It was just really well done. So please go check them out. I'll leave a description, uh, a link in the description. But please check out the rest of this video. And I love you guys. I'm going to get back to doing videos most likely every day now. Again, my family thanks you for all the prayers. And please send some more over to Johnny and his family. So um, enjoy the rest of the video. God bless. Yahusha saves. And you can drink this Kool-Aid.